Welcome to this quick start video on how to get started on your electric unicycle by King Song. There are three steps before you get started. The first thing is to unlock the wheel. The second is to do a firmware update. And lastly, you'll need to calibrate it. To get started, you'll need to download the latest application on the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store. After you have the applications downloaded, you'll turn on your device and you open the application connected via Bluetooth. When the device is connected, you'll notice that the wheel beeps a lot when you move it. You'll need to unlock it on the bottom left corner. Once it's unlocked, it'll balance. The second thing to do is to go through the firmware update. On the top right corner, hit the gear icon and hit firmware update. When you're updating, it's important to make sure you do not turn off the wheel, you don't turn off your cell phone, and you don't skip away to another application. Just keep the app open, and when the update is complete, the wheel will automatically turn off. After it turns off, you'll turn it back on, and it's ready to go. Now the last thing to do is to calibrate it. Calibrating is important to make sure you get the maximum comfort out of your ride. Again, connect it via Bluetooth using the application. Hit the gear icon and hit calibrate. It's important when you calibrate that the wheel does not fall side to side as you'll get pedal dip when you turn. The wheel also does not fall forward or backwards. So keeping the wheel still, you'll hit calibrate and you'll hit apply. Now the wheel is off, keeping the wheel completely vertical and horizontally still. You'll hit the power button, and it'll start the calibration process. It'll turn the device off one more time, and you'll turn it back on. The device is now fully calibrated. In our newest application, you'll be able to adjust the angle to a precise number. After connecting it to the latest application, you'll go to gyro angle, and just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go to negative 10 degrees and hit confirm. As you can see, the wheel is leaning backwards. And I can go to positive 10 degrees. Now the wheel will lean all the way forwards. So if you want a finer adjustment after you've done the level calibration, you're able to go into the gyro angle and adjust. So I like to have it on about negative 5, negative 0.5. So you'll see the wheel turn back, and I'm done. If you're experiencing pedal dip when you're turning, that means you need to do the level calibration one more time, and make sure you keep the wheel perfectly straight. Pedal dip happens when you calibrate it, and the wheel falls either to the left or to the right keep the wheel completely vertical. I hope this video helps and uh, if there are any questions please let me know and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you!